I'm Rebecca Shinsky, the Director of Content from Book Riot, and I'm here with five great books that came in the mail this week for us to do a preview. First up is Poor Man's Feast by Alyssa Altman. This one is actually already out. It came out on August 4th, but it just showed up in the mail this week, so it's totally eligible for the new book preview. Altman is the creator of the food blog, which won a James Beard Award of the same name, Poor Man's Feast, and this is her memoir. When she was growing up, her mother was food phobic, her father was a food fanatic, and they raised her going to really fancy pants, glitzy restaurants. She grew up thinking that the fancier the food, the better the food, and she carried that into her adult life, making really fancy, complicated dinners in her teeny tiny apartment for her friends. But then, as falling in love tends to do, everything changed. She met a woman from a small town in Connecticut who was devoted to simple living, and that shifted all of her ideas about food and cooking. I love a good food memoir. Nothing makes me happier in life than a perfect roast chicken. And so I'm really looking forward to learning about her journey from really fancy food to being drawn to the simple comforts of a good meal. Next up, coming out on September 22nd, is The Shift. One Nurse, 12 Hours, Four Patients' Lives by Teresa Brown, RN. Brown is a registered nurse and a New York Times columnist, and she works on the oncology unit of a large teaching hospital. This book unfolds one day in her life as she presents the struggles that a nurse faces, the very difficult, important work that nurses do for their patients and their patients' families, and also looks at the wider issues in American medical care today. Nursing is one of the professions that I think we really undervalue in today's culture, and so I'm excited to read this book to learn more about what the real experience is like, and also that this book is out in the world so that more people can understand really what it is that nurses do for us and how important their work is. Okay, this next one is for literary fiction and literary criticism fans. J.M. Coetzee and the Life of Writing Face to Face with Time by David Atwell. You probably recognize Coetzee's name. He is a famous novelist from South Africa. He won the Nobel Prize in 2003. And this is a literary biography and a critical look at his work, particularly through the lens of what his personal papers reveal about his fiction. David Atwell, the biographer here, has an MA in African Literary Theory and Criticism, and Coetzee was his advisor for that degree. So he knows the man and the work very well. I have to confess that I've never read J.M. Coetzee. He's been on my list forever, and I'm really intrigued to pick up some of his fiction and also get this critical look at his work. If you're looking for something light and fun to get you through the end of summer blues, we've got Copy Girl. This is by Anna Mitchell and Michelle Sasa. It's a collaborative novel pitched as Mad Men meets The Devil Wears Prada. That's all you need to tell me. This is a novel about a young woman making her way at a fancy ad agency in New York where the boys club is still alive and well. She says there are five rules to surviving advertising and she breaks them all. Nothing has yet filled the madman hole in my heart. I will watch The Devil Wears Prada any and every time that it's on cable, so I'm definitely going to give this one a shot. It looks like a lot of fun. Okay, this last one doesn't come out for a while. I'm sorry you're going to have to wait on it. This is Perfect Days by Rafael Montes. It comes out February 16th, 2016. I honestly can't believe we're even close enough to 2016 to be talking about books for it, but here we are. Montez is a really well-known Brazilian crime writer, and this is his English language debut. It's about a medical student named Teo Avalar who is something of a loner. He only feels authentic human emotion when he's with the cadaver that he dissects for class. Just take a minute and feel the creepy. But then Teo meets his dream girl, a woman named Clarice who is his total opposite. So he kidnaps her, obviously, and he takes her on a crazy road trip across Brazil and that's the book. Presumably this is not like a fun, put the top down, let your hair fly in the wind road trip. I'm really interested in reading more international authors, especially well-known crime fiction, and this sounds creepy and wonderful. So keep an eye out for it on February 16th. All right, those are my five book previews for the week from the mailbag. If you've read any of them or any of these authors' other books, you have thoughts, questions, whatever, leave them in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to click on subscribe to stay up to date with all of Book Riot's bookish goodness. I'll see you next time.